Ich meine, Gelaf. Welcome to England and Aeos. Hey everybody, today we are going to be installing a bug deflector and sunshades over the windows on our new 2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid. And we could have got them to install these, but I just purchased them over the counter. They had them in stock at Avalon Ford. And to save a few bucks on labor, myself and Devlin are going to install them and show everyone how simple of a procedure this is. Uh, another reason that I decided to install the sunshades and the bug deflector myself, for myself and Devlin, is that for some reason a vehicle just never feels like my own until I do some modifications to it on my own, take it apart or put something on it. I don't know, just the way I am. So anyway, stay tuned. And maybe we might do a little quiz about this truck. So keep checking out and maybe you might get a chance to look at our quiz. Sounds like a plan. This is the bug deflector and this is the sun sage. So we're going to open the sun sage first. So these came directly from the Ford parts department at Avalon Ford. Uh, it's just uh, four sun shades for the windows wrapped in plastic. And now we're going to open the bug deflector. And this is the bug deflector. So now we're going to open up the boxes and take off the paper to see what they look like. This is the bug deflector and these little red things, they kind of look like tape. You kind of take them, take them off and stick them onto the vehicle. And right here on this bug deflector, there's a protective film over it to keep it from getting scratched in shipping. And right here it says the enclosed alcohol pads and surface prep must be used on the vehicle prior to installation. And it says, please read the instruction sheet carefully for proper installation. Apply pressure to the tape from the center of the shield towards the ends to avoid bonding. This is the instruction sheet and the uh, cleaning wipes that were included with the bug deflector. So we'll look at those in a minute. We're going to open up the sun shades first. I never said where they were. They were in the, these were in the plastic bag that was in the, in the bottom of the bag that the bug deflector was in. So now we are going to, so now we're going to open the sun shades. And the instructions are just put right underneath them. Some of these plastic pieces can be pretty brittle until they're installed. So I'm just going to cut them instead of risking breaking them. And there's a little bit of red tape on these two to stick them on. So we read the directions and we found out that we cleaned the surface of the hood with this. That's an alcohol wipe that was in the box. And then with this, you, you rub it on to the... Yeah, rub it onto the truck. You rub that's it onto the truck to make it a bit more sticky. -o. That's right. That's the surface preparation pad. So the first step of this is I'm going to dry fit the bug deflector here just to see where it fits. In the instructions it says to place the bug deflector equal distances from both fenders. There's about a millimeter on that side. And over here there's about a millimeter. No, I'm going to move it over this way just a little bit. Okay, so if everyone wants to come zoom in on both sides, you can see right here we have a little tiny bit of paint showing. You can walk over to the other side. Go behind me. And this is the passenger side, and we've got pretty much pretty much the same, Devlin, do you think? Oh, yep. hang on, I moved it a little bit. Then we got a bit the same amount of paint showing there. So what I'm going to do here now is I have the the deflector lined up so it's equal distance from both sides. I just have like a little highlighter here. Uh, I tried this on an old vehicle I have there and this won't mark the vehicle, it'll come off easy. So I'm just going to put a little uh, reference line right here and on the truck if Devlin wants to come look. So that'll just give me a little reference of where to line it up after we get it all cleaned. So I have the alcohol wipes here. Yep, 
This is just making sure that there's not any uh, residual dirt or wax or anything on the truck. Give it a good cleaning. I'm going to use both alcohol pads here just to make sure that it's super clean. Came with two, we might as well use them. Now we take our surface preparation pad. Oh, you can smell the cleaning solution or something on that, whatever it is. So we have the cleaning pad. So you just wipe the whole truck with this. Anywhere that the double-sided tape is going to make contact. The whole truck? <laughs> Not the whole truck. You rub the part where the bug deflector is going to make contact. Oh, it's a really greasy smell. Yeah, it is, isn't it? So we got that a good wipe. Any contact points are clean. So all the surface preparation liquid there is drying on the truck. It says to prepare your visor by loosening up both ends on the center on your double sided tape. You have to loosen up your tape. My fingers are sticky from the alcohol from the preparation pad. So it says to loosen up a little bit of this. All right, so we have those done. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So after you loosen up your tape on the middle, so you have an access point to start removing your tape, you do the same thing on the outside edges. The instructions call these the free ends. So I've got the four free ends. I got the tape started. So now we're going to come over to the truck. The surface here appears to be nice and dry. So I'm going to Take off the plastic. Yeah, take off the plastic. To, I'm going to make sure there's enough ends here to grab. This is the tricky part. Um, the, wait, 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 stop. These kind of love. Yeah, we can get those after. So we've got to get these. So you have to make sure you can access the ends of this tape. I'm actually, I'm just realizing I'm going to remove the protective film that's on this. <laughs> that's what I was trying to tell you. I'm actually going to remove the protective film on this because I just dry fit this again and the edges of this protective film is going to be uh, underneath this tape and that's not going to allow that to adhere to the bonnet. So we're pretty good here now with not scratching this. So I'm just going to remove I'm just going to remove this. I don't want to I want to make sure that there's none of that plastic underneath the edge of it. You should work along at about six inches at a time. So. So my mark that I put in the center was on top of the plastic film, which is now gone. So I'm just eyeballing this. Making sure that's making sure this is just showing about a millimeter of paint. So now you want to look at both sides, Devlin, to make sure that that look at both sides for me. I'll hold it here. Is it good? Mm. Go over the other side and see yep. if it looks the same. Mm. I think you move it over that way a little bit. Okay, over that way. And more. A bit more. Yeah. So now you hold this in place and you have to stay back. So you start in the center. You have to stay about six inches behind your tape as you're applying pressure, because if you don't, your tape will break and then you'll have trouble getting it off again. So I'm just gonna stay back here. I'm gonna pull out this tape, apply pressure as I go along. You come closer, come over here and look this way. So you just keep pulling until you get to the end of that section. Apply pressure. Now come over on this side, we'll do the same thing over here. 
so stay about six inches behind the tape or so so you don't break it this tape actually oh oh uh oh i got a problem here I'm not, I'm not too high but it's way too high buddy so uh i'm putting on the table if devil wants to come in here and look so right here I was actually up a little bit too high and I wasn't happy I wasn't happy with this. So I actually tried to remove this again and readjust it. And just a heads up, don't do that. This tape is like uh it's really strong and I actually just cracked the bug deflector trying to move it. So that's not good. And I'm going to have to pick up another bug deflector I guess and try and fix it that way. And how are you going to get that off? How are you going to get it off? Trying to get it off. Yeah, I'm taking it off now. I guess I can't leave it like that. I'm not happy with it. So, if you're wondering if this tape is strong, let me tell you. So I probably could have just paid to have this installed at the dealer now and it probably would have been the same price as what I'm doing. But hey, you live and learn. So I could have left it with a little bit of, there was a little tiny bit of the hood here exposed. I could have left it like that, but the whole purpose of the bug deflector is to protect the paint here. I screwed it up. No more to it than that. It wasn't in the, it was up too high and there was a fair bit of paint exposed underneath. So I'm going to have to pick up another one of these and install that. This is what it looked like when I got it off. So now that I got the mess straightened up on the front of the truck there with the bug deflector and lesson learned, I'm going to install the uh, side vent visors now on the truck and see how this works. I wasn't sure first when I opened these up what I thought of them, but I dry fitted them in place and they do look okay. They're not the typical visors I'm used to, but I think it's going to add a little bit of a contrast to the truck here with a little more black on the side. So we're going to see how that goes here now and what the finished product looks like. So it's the same deal here as it was with the visor there's a little package of the alcohol wipes that you have to wipe your contact areas with just give this a good wipe here make sure it's all nice and clean i started using masking tape thanks to one of my instagram followers uh, 69 underscore j hill gave me some advice there Said so tape them in place with masking tape, which was a good idea. So that'll just fit in there. I'm trying to do this without blocking the view. What I didn't like about this visor is that for some reason. When you line up this end here with your mirror and this end with your black molding, there's a little bit of black molding showing here. The contour of the visor is not exactly the same, which I thought was really weird for something that says a Ford accessory, but you won't really notice it because it's both black trim there. I'm going to put another piece of tape on right here, and that is where I want it to be. And this is in place now. There's nothing I can do about it. It is what it is because as I learned from the front and the bug deflector, permanent tape is permanent tape on these things.
Well, that's the front one installed. So now I'm going to line up the back one the same height on top of the trim. The back one is actually a little easier to line up because the sunshade or window visor is flat and so it lines up perfectly with the top edge of the black paint here. The only decision you have to make is how much of a space you want right here and I'm going to space it equal distance. The front one is about a millimeter ahead of the door frame so that it doesn't get caught when you close it so I'm going to space the back one out about the same. And I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to get some tape ready. So that's the bug deflector and the four sunshades installed over all the windows. We're going to haul it inside now and have a look. After you do, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know if you like the look of the truck better without the sunshades or after I installed them. And also, I'm going to mention at this point that the directions said that you have to let the sticky tape dry for 24 hours before driving your vehicle just to give it the tape a chance to adhere. So make sure you do that. So I'm going to be without my truck for 24 hours, but as soon as that time is up, I'm going to haul it outside and we'll have a look.